Good morning, everybody, and uh, this is your DAX, the trade setups for today. So, um, nothing really going on. We are uh, still in an upward trend. We've got a final crossover of all the moving averages. Our status are grouped together. That's not a good sign. So, that's a sign that we should be looking for some kind of a range or pullback. But you can see the, the modus of operation here. So, big strong move up, decent pullback. Strong move up, half decent pullback. Big move up, decent pullback. Move up, what's coming next? A pullback. So um, I'm not, not really looking for longs up here unless we can find support on one of these two levels. And those levels are still the same as what they were yesterday. So you can see this one here, uh, which is what I would have expected us to find support on 13792. Um, we dropped below it. So that's not really a level at the moment. We did come and test this swing high here. And um, I suppose you could argue that the, this is a head and shoulder. So there's a shoulder, there's a head, there's a shoulder. So you could argue that. Um, you could also argue that's a retest of the breakout. And that was a breakout. You can see the rejection there. Wasn't adhered to there. Didn't reject it here. But there we found support on that. So um, missed that level yesterday. So you need to pay attention to that. Each of these fractals on the 3R are definitely levels you need to pay attention to on your intraday charts. Uh, moving on to the 1 hour. You can see there's the structure, there's that structure, then you had a little bit of structure here, and even this one wasn't exact. And there's still this little gap to the downside. So if you're forgiven, I think I'll forgive myself. Uh, looking at 13,689, those are the two levels I was wanting to look at. So 13,782 and 13,689 uh, didn't really adhere to either of them. So for me at the moment, those levels are still in play. Uh, and in fact, all three of those levels are still in place. So we're looking for a pullback to 13.792. Um, alternatively, we're looking at 13.744. We don't have anything on the oscillator except for a crossover here. Uh, I suspect we're going to do pretty much the same as what happened yesterday. So European session down, I expect us to drift lower, and then uh, US session, another bounce up. So that's kind of the view that I've got at the moment. Uh, personally, I think I'll be waiting for the U.S. session and trade the U.S. Uh, indexes rather than than worrying about um, the DAX. Way too many gaps to the downside. Look at that gap all the way down here. So that's what leads me to believe we're probably going to come back here. We're going to form a daily range, and we still ultimately need to get above the weekly high. So it's still early in the week, but that is the goal at the moment. So uh, moral of the story for me today, trend is up. There's no two ways about that. It's just very tired. So when we're tired like this, you tend to either have a range or a deeper pullback. So expect one of the two. So for me, top of the range would be round about this uh, 13880. And bottom of the range will be around this area, 13744. So pullback down to here, price action. We're looking for inside bars engulfing bars or pin bars off structure and we're looking for it to move up um, these here do not count because they are not on the level they need the bar needs to close above the level or on the level and we need to have a, a tail on the level so here's a great example of a tweezer bottom here but that failed and that is typical of a situation where they are hunting retail trader stop losses because you're on a level to the bottom entry on the top look at the gap there good as it you know, everybody's got the entries just a little bit up stop here runs and as the stops get triggered takes all these players out the market institutions come in and drive price up so great retail trap right there that's another reason why you know, I always look for two attempts um, at this area and it's always a good idea to have your stop not below here but take the next step so that's the first level first logical area for a stop don't take that one take the second logical area may mean that your position size is a bit smaller but typically you stay in the trade especially when you're in an uptrend like this okay anyway that's kind of my view um i'm looking at these levels to downside if we manage to get in here it's an opportunity to buy otherwise it is sit on hands and wait for the oscillators at least on the one hour to ease off like they did yesterday and then we can start looking at it as soon as you see them ease off starting to ease off an hour if you come down to 15 minute 
you'll see them easing off even more. And then you need to look for your level. Okay, anyway, that's it for me today. Hope it helps, and uh, we'll catch up with you uh, tomorrow morning. Cheers for now.